What's up guys, Dirk here. Happy Monday. It is the 10th of October and this is just going to be a quick summary of the weekly candle close, what the charts reveal to us right now and what could potentially lie ahead for this next week and maybe even for the next few weeks for the rest of October. So this is going to be interesting because we're getting close to some sort of major move and we're going to look in the video whether that's going to be to the upside or the downside. But the more that the price is sitting here under this $20,000 level, the more likely it is we're going to get some sort of major move. This week also we have the CPI numbers coming out on Wednesday. There's obviously a lot going on in the world. So buckle up because it's going to get really, really interesting. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Click that subscribe button down below. Click the notification bell. If you haven't done that yet, it gives you all the updates and alerts whenever I post a new video. And if you want to get on my email list, first link in the description down below. That way I can just email you whenever I upload a new video to be sure that you don't miss it. And don't forget, there's only two days left of my bear market special offer to join Intelligent Cryptocurrency VIP. I'm not going to go into the details because I want to get into the content. But if you want to sign up, come and try it out. 30 day money back guarantee completely risk free to you to join. But there's only two days left to take advantage of the special offer. Second link in the description down below. So let's start out with the weekly chart of Bitcoin. And as you can see, currently we're trading at $19,425. So we actually closed again below this 200 week moving average. And very simply, that's what I've been saying for the last several weeks now. As long as we're below this, technically it's just bearish on the larger time frame on the weekly chart. And what it means is that the longer we're below this, the higher the chance of a breakdown towards what I think is if we break down, this will likely be the next target, the fair value gap here on weekly and the support, as you can see over here, which was resistance for a long time. This approximately, you know, 10 to $14,000 range, probably somewhere in the middle around $12,000 if we do break out. Now, what we are seeing here is we're seeing this price sitting over here on this level, which was the 2017 all time high. Okay. And as you can see here, it's been bouncing. If you zoom in on the four hourly chart, it's bouncing, bouncing. But what we have here, when you zoom in is also we're bouncing on this, but every time when we do go up, we make a lower high and a lower high and a lower high. So basically it's like a bouncing ball that just keeps bouncing less until we eventually get some breakdown. I think, like I said, the more that we sit or the longer that we sit under 20 K and the more times we touch this, the more likely it is that there is going to be a breakdown and another leg down. And that would be the target in my opinion in the same way, like we saw this in 2018, if you go over here, you can see it did a very similar thing. It sat on the 6K level for months. Every time when it bounced, it made a lower high. And then it sat there again, bounced, made a lower high, bounced, made a lower high until eventually it broke down. We got the capitulation and that was the ultimate bear market bottom. That was the point of maximum opportunity where if you bought Bitcoin and altcoins at this point and you held on even, you know, this rally that we got in 2019. But if you managed to buy there and hold on for two to three years, the gains would have been astronomical. So in that same way, I mean, if we're looking at the trend, just look at this. This is just a bearish trend on the higher time frame, on weekly, on monthly, on three day, on daily. This chart is still bearish and I would like to flip bullish again, but we need the confirmation. And I've been saying that for a long time. So we need to flip the 200 week moving average, the three day 50 moving average, um, and ideally this 50 week moving average once again. But, you know, it takes time. So if we're going to drop here and eventually this average comes down and we can flip it again at some point, then we can hopefully get another major, major bull market. But for now, we haven't had any signs of reclaiming that. No bullish confirmation signals. Even last week when we got an attempt at, at 20.5 again to try and break that, it got rejected. It's back under 20K. It closed below 20K and we're sitting here. And in my opinion, you know, there's just pressure building here and it's only a matter of time. Um, if the bulls can't step in right now and create some sort of major pump and reclaim this 200 week moving average, um, we're, we're going to break down here. That's just how it is and how far, I don't know. But I do think that this would be um, the likely target where it would find support. So that is my opinion right now. That is how Bitcoin is looking. I mean, I made a video not too long ago also about the stock markets a couple of days ago. It doesn't look good. The stock market, I mean, if we're looking at the S&P, let's just, let's just go over it real quick. One minute. Um, we're basically sitting here on the 200 week moving average. Okay. That's the easiest thing to look at. We are on this 200 week moving average. If it doesn't hold 
and we got a bit of a bounce but if this doesn't hold like it did over here in 2016 or over here in 2018 you know march 2020 we had a sell-off below it but if we really do break below this i mean there's a lot of downside potential in the stock markets which could lead to obviously a lot more downside in bitcoin so i feel like the charts are kind of warning us that this is very much a possibility and unless something changes right now where you know there's some reversal in monetary policy or um, some sort of announcement or some sort of major stimulus kind of feel like we're leaning towards the downside the charts are hinting at that and when we break down we could get a quick breakdown of 10 20 30 percent in the stock market in a relatively short period of time which could also mean in bitcoin 30 40 50 percent to the downside in a relatively short period of time i do feel like october and november are potentially the risk months too even though the midterm elections are scheduled for next month who knows what's happening it's a bit of crazy stuff that's happening in the world right now um you know if you've been watching the news like crazy stuff is happening so there isn't much needed as a catalyst to create some sort of sell-off and we're at a very critical point where we need to bounce really quickly or it's probably going to sell off quite a bit now the good thing is if we do get that sell-off and i kind of hope we do because that is likely to flush out um the remaining bulls in the hopium it's likely to get us to the end of the bear market it's likely to give us that capitulation that we're looking for and hopefully give us that amazing buying opportunity so hopefully you are prepared for that your risk is managed and you know hopefully you're going to be able to take advantage of the opportunity if and when it presents itself so let's have a quick look at ethereum which is currently at 1316 dollars as i'm making this video um same thing on all my charts the blue is the 50 simple moving average the red is the 200 simple moving average and you can see it's sitting right there it's closed on this 200 week moving average now for a couple of weeks but you can just see this trend is lower right lower highs lower lows and even here we got rejected um, over here at the same level got rejected dropped lower high dropped and it just feels like we're here and we're gonna retest you can see there's a fair value gap here on weekly so it looks like we want to at least retest these lows probably drop a little bit lower into this fair value gap around the 800 dollars level but if that ends up breaking the next level of support um, I would say it could be around this level, which is somewhere between three and five hundred dollars, which I've been saying for a couple of months already. If we do get a major sell off, there is potential for Ethereum to retest the lows or make new lows and potentially go as low as between three hundred and five hundred dollars, which if you measure that as a drawdown from the all time high from the peak is about just about 90 percent, a little bit over 90 percent, which is very similar to the 2018 bear market. So. If that were to happen, I would think we get our capitulation, we flush out all the bulls, all the hopium, we match the 2018 bear market. So in terms of, is this something new? Would it be worse than last time? No, it would be exactly the same, even though maybe the distance seems larger that it dropped. Percentage-wise, it's the same as 2018. And I think that would match, you know, all the criteria for a bear market low. So again, there's no guarantees we are gonna get that. But personally, my opinion is based on the charts, so how I'm seeing things. I think the, the odds favor that downside unless we can right now in the near future, maybe even this week or in the next couple of days, get some sort of massive bullish event where money starts to flow in and something changes. Like I said, I think it's unlikely, um, but that would be what we are looking for and reclaim bullish levels before we can start getting bullish. Until then, I do think it's bearish. The charts are showing us bearish. The risk remains to the downside and there is very little needed in terms of a catalyst to create a major sell-off because there are still a lot of people who are bullish now who are hoping for upside who are betting on on upside and you know they have leverage positions they have margin positions i'm not just talking about your average retail investor there's a lot of people in the stock market you know who have been dollar cost averaging with margin positions and if we start to get a sell-off and we get margin calls it can all drop pretty quickly which again like i said would hopefully mark the bottom of the bear market get the final capitulation and then we could start the recovery process towards uh hopefully what will be at some point a new bull trend don't know when maybe next year but maybe another two or three years we will see we'll let the charts develop um as they're showing us how they develop we can make better decisions in the short term so for now for the week ahead doesn't look good for the bulls and i do suspect there could be further downside if there's bullet confirmation i will be the first 
to make a video about that and share that with you. You know, if I start to see signs that, hey, the trend is potentially reversing here on a longer term time frame on the three day on the weekly chart, I will be making videos about that because I am looking to trade the charts and go with what the charts tell us rather than, you know, any sort of personal opinion or what I would like my own positions to do or anything like that. That is all irrelevant. We need to go by what the charts are saying. And right now they are bearish until proven otherwise, in my opinion. So if you like this video, if you enjoyed the content, please smash the like button, subscribe down below. If you haven't done so already, get on my email list, first link in the description down below. And if you want to take advantage of my bear market special offer before it expires, on a Tuesday, which is actually tomorrow at midnight, Eastern time, I think. When the timer on the page hits zero, the offer is going to be gone, but you still have a day or two to take advantage. So click that second link in the description down below if you wanna take advantage of it. It's a full 30 day money back guarantee, no strings attached. So you sign up, you go through everything, you join the Discord. If you're not happy, send us an email, you get a full refund within 30 days if you are not happy. So. I do recommend signing up for that because there's so much value and content and updates in there. If you want to have an edge in these markets, I think it's a pretty good place to be. So click that second link in the description down below. And for the rest, have an awesome day, an awesome week. Manage your risk and be patient. Trade the charts, not your emotions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.